Except for Bridget. <laughs> Oh, it, I, that's wrong. He does seem to think he's at a university. He does not. It's just worded wrong. So we have first first time have a party of four characters. Is it the yeah, it's definitely the first time we've had a party of four characters. Ambrose does seem although he isn't lucid and aware of what's going on around him, things do seem to be a little bit different for him than every other person. Everyone is seeing some kind of a nightmare. He is just sort of seeing himself at a university, not in some hellish landscape or in a battle or anything like that. He's just sort of going about his regular day, you know? Definitely a strange reaction. And it's, it's an example of how the Morty does, doesn't have absolute control over the people that throws into this world. Man, my, my level designing skills are such shit. It's just terrible. Look at this long straightaway for no reason. Yeah, everybody's got like this weird lockstep. It's so goofy looking. Oh my god. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, that is another... Um, that is another flag character when that set a debugging flag. I think that was so I could set a debug flag and place Ambrose and um, Ambrose in the party to put this next part of the game without having to actually go talk to him. All right, so this, <laughs> look at that character portrait. 
a lot of the characters went through multiple revisions of their design as I um, was going through the game, creating the game. The version of Kismet that we see with her regular character portrait is the most recent one. I kind of made her look like an angry Emily Blunt to my, <laughs> in my opinion. But that was maybe like the fourth version of Kismet that I created. What we're looking at here was a character portrait created for one of the earlier versions of her. A completely different character model. Like, every aspect of her was completely different. I recreated her multiple times completely, trying to get her look right. And this one here was clearly one that just doesn't quite look right. She doesn't have any sort of uh, facial features, and her clothing is weird. I was trying to make it look like she came from a world where there weren't a lot of resources and she had to basically wear whatever she can get a hold of so she's just wearing kind of an old shirt that's torn up uh the what i ended up um settling for was one where she um her clothes are all damaged and stuff but she's sort of wearing a metal rusty plate across her uh, as a chest protector thinking that it's like oh yeah it's the best best piece of armor that she could find and it's just what she settled on but you're looking at here is an older version of the character and what's supposed to be happening is the morty is assuming her form in order to just sort of get under her skin get under her skin literally in a certain respect but when you're looking at this you're supposed to be seeing the same character now the reason why your character portrait wasn't its character portrait for this um, mirror of Kismet wasn't replaced is because there were some differences that I implemented just to be able to tell the difference between the characters. So this version of Kismet we're looking at was supposed to have kind of a weird smirk on her face, whereas the Kismet that you play as always has something of a scowl. doesn't look pleased with any situation. So we're looking at somebody who looked slightly different, so I created a different... I put a different image in the game files, and it's... The Morty is still drawing upon that older PNG file. See, like, look at this here. Her shirt is torn up, although the texture across her neck is definitely not quite right. But she has a rusty piece of metal hanging off of, in uh, the front of her as a chest protector. So I, I thought that, like, okay, I did need to differentiate between the two characters in some way to make it less confusing about who was talking at any one point. So I had the creature pull her hair across her face in a really goofy-ass way in order to help differentiate between them.
Ah, she's heard of him now. He's part of her story. 